of you who don't know me, my name is Bonnie Corbin and this is my video for the top 15 of the ANZ Face Awards. Our challenge today was dreaming and candy. I went for something more of a nightmare but also tried to make it cute and candy-like as well. Before we move on to the tutorial today, it is very important that I give you a quick rundown on how the voting system works. If you wish to see me progress into the top 6, simply go to Face Awards ANZ. You need to publicly vote in your favourite artist to the top 6. The voting period is open from June 8th to June 12th. Please make sure you get all of your votes in three times per day per email address. I really want to get there and it would mean the world to me if I got your votes. I'll leave all of the links in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for listening. Now let's get started with the tutorial. As you guys can see, I have a design concept. I was really excited about this theme, so let's jump straight in. The first thing I'm doing is taking my NYX Professional Makeup Studio Loving Primer. I'm going to generously apply this all over my face and rub that into the skin just to make sure we're prepped and primed and ready to go. I'm applying a lot of stuff on my face today, so I need a really nice, smooth face. Then taking a spoolie, I'm brushing my eyebrow hairs upwards and applying a few layers of a non-toxic glue stick and then brushing them up again to flatten them to the skin. Once they are completely dry, you can then go in with your liquid latex. I'm taking a ripped up bar sponge and starting to apply cotton wool over my brow bone area and then starting to blend that down into the skin. I like to go in layers so it doesn't build up too thick, otherwise it will take a very long time to dry. So once I've got the base down of my forehead, I moved on to my cheeks. As you guys can see, I'm also using cotton rounds and cotton balls, but to blend it down into the skin, I just rip the cotton up into small pieces and then apply that and blend it away with my stippling sponge. I then went back onto the top of my forehead and started to blend that away. Please be careful when you're working around your hair with liquid latex, it is not friendly. And if you wanted to protect it even further, you could apply some petroleum jelly just where your hair is to make sure it doesn't stick. I applied a really cute button nose and then pressed in the centre to make it look like it was missing and then blended down the nose into the rest of the cheeks to make sure everything is cohesive. I let that dry for about 20 minutes. As you guys can see, once latex starts to dry, it changes colour. It goes an off-white, almost yellow tone. To speed up the drying time, you can of course use a hairdryer set to cool. After I sculpted out the mouth, I then took my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean and started to apply that all over my lips and my smile. Next it's time to apply my teeth. I created them with polymorph plastic and I stuck them all together with a little bit of masking tape. This is going to hold them all in place. It takes way too long to apply them individually and it's also really beneficial because they sit all at the same level. As you can see, I'm pulling down that wet cotton wool and latex and pressing it around each tooth to give it a nice gum-like effect. For my bottom teeth, I will have to apply some sort of padding because your chin obviously dips down underneath your lip. Fill that up with a little bit of cotton wool and latex and then press the teeth around that area and then continue to press your gums back up over the teeth. You may need to hold it for a few seconds and even get your hair dryer just to make sure it's nice and secure. I applied two more rows of teeth up on the outer corner of each smile just to make sure it curves really nicely to my face. I then blended out the rest of the face with some more liquid latex and cotton just to make the mouth look a little bit more cohesive. Now my eyebrows weren't looking angry enough so I went back in after everything was dry and took two more round cotton wool pads. I applied them in a really angry shape and then blended them out into the rest of the skin. I continued to touch up a few areas of the face where I wanted them to be more protruding and more bold. Once I blended them out I then switched over to my crop top and then started on my peppermint shoulders. I lightly mapped that out and then went in with some cotton wool pads and started to apply it around the edges of my shoulders. I then saturated that with liquid latex blending it down into the skin and then pulled it up from the center outwards to make it look like it was a part of my skin. Once that dried, I then moved on to my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and I started to apply and map out the area where I want my bones and skeletal parts to go. I wanted this to be super cartoony and super duper cute, so it is not accurate, but I really like the design anyways. Once I've applied all of the throat pieces, I then moved on to the collarbone, the chest and the ribs. And then after all of that, I did some cute little really cartoon style bones on the side of my arms as well. Next I'm taking my NYX eyeshadow base in black and I'm applying that with a small brush behind all of my teeth. This is quite a tedious task so make sure you always pre-paint it before you stick your teeth down. I just needed to go over some gaps that I missed and some of the dried latex. Next I'm going to take a white body paint and start to apply that all over the face, bringing that up into my hairline so it blends nicely when I apply my wig and then also going over my chest area. I just wanted to define it and clean it up a little bit. I totally could have used the jumbo pencil, but I'm using so much product today, I didn't want to waste two pencils painting my body. So I then just went ahead and lined and carved out all of the areas of the bones, and then I moved on to my eyes. So I'm taking my NYX jumbo pencil in black bean and applying that as an eyeshadow base all in my eye socket areas, 
in my waterline and along the lower lash line as well. Taking a fluffy brush with some white body paint on it, I'm using that to apply a nice soft gradient around the sides of my eyes, then going back in with that jumbo pencil and redefining my nose as well, almost pretty much contouring and then blending it away. I'm then going to take my NYX Lip Luster in a bright red shade and apply that as my nose just to give it a nice little red look. Using the same brush that we did earlier that has the black eyeshadow base on it, I'm lightly defining a little brow bone area and just mapping out where I want some wrinkles and some definition. I'm going back in with my jumbo pencil in black bean and starting to contour the sides of my face to make myself look very skeletal. Taking a red body paint I'm applying that as my lips. Now these can be quite messy because we're applying lots of glitter on top later so just lightly apply that around the edges. I'm then going to move on to my eyes. For my glam I'm taking a pressed red glitter. I made this myself. I can make a tutorial if you guys want to see it but there's plenty of DIY pressed glitters out there at the moment. I'm going to pack that on my eyes and then also bring it down underneath my eyes in a triangle tear shape. Next I'm going to take my NYX Vivid Brights in a bright red colour and start to draw on some beautiful eyebrows. I went back in and just defined it with my brush just to make everything more consistent and also used that as a bright ass eyeliner which looked stunning. Once I've got that dry I went in with some white paint and applied it on my lashes. I couldn't find my white NYX liner, I don't know what I've done with it already. I then applied some graphic liner on the inner corner of my eyes with the red again and let all of that dry. For the lips I'm applying some lash glue and starting to pack on some really coarse craft glitter. It's not going to be anywhere near my eyes so I figured it would be okay. I also applied it on my nose as well. Then taking my NYX Primal Colours in the shade Hot Red, I'm starting to pack on some blush just to give this more of a cute look. My original plan was to go quite scary with this but once I added glitter it started looking too damn cute. Moving on to the body, I'm starting with my peppermint shoulders, just lightly mapping it out with my jumbo pencil. Then I'm going to take my NYX Lip Luster in the bright red colour and start to fill it in. I used a brush to get it nice and precise on those corners because it needs to be really cute and pointy. Once I went ahead and filled all of that in, I let it dry and then I moved on to the next one. For my skin tone today, I chose a nice grey colour. I'm just using a body paint and filling in carefully all around the bones. I also applied that into my contour on the sides of my face and started to blend that up into my ears and my neck. Don't forget to apply that on the latex as well where the peppermints blend down into the skin. Once you've got all of that done, it is now time to move on to the outlining process. This is definitely the most satisfying to watch but it is very time consuming. I just went in with a black body paint and tried to make everything as even as I could. I really loved this because it was very cartoony, very bold, very outlined. The chest is more of a statement piece, there isn't as much going on where the face is more detailed but that's what kind of makes it all flow together, especially once I put my peppermint horns on later. I then continued to finish off the shoulder piece as well by outlining the peppermints and then I went around it with a little bit of red body paint. I popped on some liquid latex and then some more red glitter. I really love this coarse glitter, it kind of brought the look to life. Then for shading I'm taking my NYX Primal Colours in the shade Hot Red and starting to apply that around parts of the bones. This doesn't have to be realistic, as I said earlier this is more of a cartoony, bold, cute and colourful look. So I'm going to lightly apply that and then deepen it with the black Primal Colours, I think this is in the shade Hot Black and just going over the same areas lightly with an angled brush. If you have any problems blending that out just take a bit of white body paint and lightly run over the edges and it should give it a nice soft gradient. To finish this off I popped on my peppermint horns and a grey long wig. Now I can make a DIY if you guys want to see how to do these but they're simple, they're just made out of foil, yarn and a bit of paint. This was honestly my favourite look that I've done so far for the face awards. I didn't expect it to turn out so glam but the glitter just really brought it to life and the statement horns with the peppermints in the background and the fairy floss, it was just such a fun theme and such a fun set to play with so I really did enjoy how this worked out. That's it everyone, that is the end of my video, I hope you all enjoyed it today, if you did please give it a very big thumbs up, but most importantly please go on to the Face Awards website and give me your three votes. You can vote up to three times per day per email address and the voting period is open from the 8th to the 12th of June, so you only have five days to get me into the top six. It would mean the world to me and I can't thank you enough for helping me get this far already. It is all based off of public votes, so please, if you're Team Bonnie, help me get through. I really want to make top six. Again, I thank you for watching and for your time and hopefully for your votes as well. See you in the next one. Bye guys.